Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a new video. I thought about making a video because they announced the, you know, new free-to-play Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta we just got. They announced it on Twitter yesterday, on the JP Twitter, I should mention. Because the English Twitter, I guess they, like, forgot the password or something. They can't log in. I don't know. They, like, haven't been posting tweets there. Really weird. But I thought about it, but I was like, that's not really enough for, like, a whole video, I feel. That'd be, like, a, you know, a minute or so. So I decided to save it for today. So here we are. We got it last night. It was the weekly reset. It is the weekly reset. It happens for me at midnight. So I guess, you know, I'm, like, between yesterday and today type of thing. Because technically it's today. But we got some new events. We got some new events and some new free-to-play units that actually look pretty spicy. If you haven't heard, we got a new Super Saiyan Blue Goku and a new Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And the Goku is a defense type unit who is a red. So, you know, I already know some people are like, oh, no, not a red unit. Actually, it's not as bad as uh, you might think. Because, yes, people are saying that because Ultra Gogeta exists. The Grim Reaper of the game right now is blue. But when we go down here, let's see. Where is it? His uh, special skill? Is this? No, that's his green card, right? Unique ability. Ah, here it is. So, Faded Showdown. This is why this is an interesting, you know, unit to add to the game as a free-to-play. Applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. You get 80% to damage inflicted, reduces damage received. Both of those are nice. Can't be cancelled is huge. But this nullifies unfavorable element factors for 40 timer counts. Cannot be cancelled. That is big time if you plan on running him, of course, with Ultra Gogeta being around. So, from when the battle starts for 40 timer counts, he's like an early time defensive unit. Nullifies unfavorable element factors. Now, of course, Ultra Gogeta still hits pretty hard, even without the whole blue above red type, you know, thing going on. But that is a nice ability. I'm glad to see that they have it. Also, when he changes cover, reduces the enemy vanish gauge to 0%. This activates four times. When you cover change, your enemy can't uh, vanish. They, they lose their vanish. They can, of course, swap out. If you throw an attack, they can quickly swap and then vanish with the other character, but... That is a nice ability. Also inflicts them with plus three to sub count and uh, shortens, you know, a substitute count by three to self. This cannot be stacked and effect resets after each or after character switch. So Goku is looking, uh, Goku is looking nice. He's a red unit and uh, hopefully both of these, I haven't had a chance to play with them because I haven't had a chance to really grind them out on Legends yet. So if you have, I would love to hear your opinions on these new free-to-play units in the comments down below how are you feeling them you feeling them they're feeling good they're not love to hear your guys thoughts and then we have super saiyan blue vegeta is a blue unit a ranged type unit and you can pause at any point i'm just going to scroll here you can pause the video if you want to read these things you can also go check them out in game on their unit but i just thought i'd you know go through so you can you know pause it if you want to and see stuff that, uh, you know, in case you want to read through any of his abilities or whatnot. Uh, but, you know, you can see he gets card draw speed for one le or one level for 15 timer counts when he enters the battlefield. He gets some key there, so that's nice. You can see there's some stuff to damage there. Unfaltering Ego restores health. Every time this character uses a strike or blast starts, they've kind of been liking that. You know, Beerus also has that, but strike or blast is pretty cool. So he'll be healing himself up. Some interesting stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's Vegeta's, so if you wanted to read any of that, again, just pause it. Same with Goku's, so if you wanted to read any of it, you can just pause the video and read through it on your own. But now, let's talk about the events. So these are the events to get the Z-Power for the two new free-to-play units. They have the Supreme Showdown, Realm of the Gods event. You run through, do this, you get 2,600 of both. They have the missions, which, you know, they always have missions, which are like, you know, use, uh, register, or... What is it? Uh, is it even titled? I don't. I forget what the exact tag is for the the movie if they have one specifically. Maybe it's just Revival Frieza Saga. I forget what's in game, but they have that. Uh, use God Key stuff like that. You know those type of missions. You do a certain amount of strike attacks. All that good stuff they normally do. And then, oh my goodness, Legends! I despise you. They added a gauntlet for Goku and a gauntlet for Vegeta. Two separate gauntlets. So you have to play both of them. For Goku and Vegeta, I certainly hope that Legends isn't sitting there looking at like their analytics because I'm sure that they, you know, can see how many people play certain game modes and whatnot and they use that to make decisions. I hope they're not sitting there looking at how many people play the gauntlet and they're like, oh, people must be loving the gauntlet. They're playing so much of the gauntlet. No, Toshi, if you're watching this, no one loves the gauntlet. No one loves the gauntlet. It's just time consuming and just boring. 
People play it to get the reward of the free Zenkai Z power. That's it. You take away that, people will stop playing the gauntlet. Like, it's, I'm sure there are some people who enjoy having more battles to play because maybe they don't want to play PvP or something. But, like, honestly, you should make the option where someone could play the last battle, they beat it, and they collect all the rewards. Because if they're able to beat the last version of this boss that they just faced a million times, they're going to beat all the other ones that have just less health. So, just, like, and then if people want to play through each level because they enjoy that, you let them have the option. But, like, oh my goodness gracious, man, we don't need more gauntlets. But you can get Z-Power there, and then they have more events coming soon where you'll get that final 3,000 Z-Power. So you can get them up to about 11 stars right now. And then, you know, you have to wait for 14 for whatever events come in soon means. But this has some interesting art. Because you can see Golden Frieza. That is the green Golden Frieza that came out for first anniversary that everyone has been wanting a Zenkai for for the longest time. So maybe this is a sign he'll be getting a Zenkai soon. That would be a lot for LOE, you know, in terms of getting new stuff. Some people I've seen already began speculating. Maybe we'll be getting an LF transforming Golden Frieza or just an LF Golden Frieza this month. Again, that'd be a lot for LOE in a short amount of time, which I feel like LOE did need help. But now I feel LOE is pretty dang good. And if they give it like more in such a short amount of time, I feel like it's going to be another long drought until LOE can get some more stuff. So I'm not necessarily sure that's what you want. If you're an LOE fanboy and LOE main, you love running the... <laughs> The space racists in PvP. Not quite sure that's what you want, but uh, that would be interesting to see. In terms of other important news from our update, besides the you know new fancy free-to-plays, the Jiren banner actually changed up. And this is important because it is no longer the step-up format. It is now more of like the normal format where you know it's 1000 CC for a multi with a guaranteed sparking at the end and then 100 for a single and 20 for the daily. If you saw my video talking about whether you should start saving now or not for the upcoming anniversary, Legends 4th anniversary, which will be happening at the end of May, as it always does, you know, beginning of June, that window, then I kind of go over in that video. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you check it out because I kind of go over what you should expect to see in between now and anniversary. You know, the LFs, not exactly who they're going to be, but how many LFs we're going to get whether there might be an ultra or not, and just other stuff you should anticipate and how much CC, you know, and whatnot. So, but I do recommend actually that you probably do the 20 CC dailies because it's only 20 CC, not a whole lot. I don't recommend you do the dailies on the other banners, probably only this banner and then maybe Zenkai banners if you're trying to Zenkai someone and you don't want to, you know, do the full multi. But yeah, I would recommend this because you could in fact pull Jiren, you could pull the new Beerus. If you're running God Key, be nice to run that new Beerus. If you're, you know, getting ready for MUI whenever he comes out, probably a good idea to have, you know, Jiren on your team. Of course, Jiren may be on the banner with MUI when he comes out. We'll have to see on that. But just doing a 20cc, maybe you get lucky. You pull a big time Jiren. You pull a Beerus. Maybe you pull Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, UI, Zamasu. Whatever it may be, it's just, you know, a good idea to do that. The other big important news is we got new equips. And these are exciting. And this one in particular, our new Platinum Equip, which is times 10. Good old, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku here. It gives strike defense, key recovery, and strike attack, and then blast attack. And it is only for yellow god key, which means you can run this on your Gogeta Blue, or you could run it on your Zenkai Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Also, because it is this picture, because it is times 10, you know, it's this Goku, that's brought up the idea, maybe we'll be getting a Zenkai for the yellow Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the transforming one, you know, that transforms. Um, that would be really cool. I would be about that. You know, it's a fun time unit. That'd be cool to have him back. We'll have out God Key since it now seems they're making a push to God Key. Uh, we'll have to see, of course, you know, but they did drop a new Beerus. They dropped two new free to plays in the Goku and Vegeta we just got. So maybe we'll be getting a Zenkai for this Super Saiyan Blue Goku. That'd be cool. That'd be another Zenkai buff, most likely, to Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta as well. So, certainly interesting. Again, it's only an equip, though, but we will keep our eyes peeled to see, you know, if we get any more information. Our other new equips, because we got more, it's not just that Platinum equip. We got this one here, and don't dream of resurrecting again. You can see this is all about attack. It literally has Strike and Blast in the first slot, then Strike, and then more Blast <laughs> attack in the final slot. 
just for god key range types i'm assuming the idea here especially because they put super saiyan blue vegeta here is that you go and run this on the new super saiyan blue vegeta that came out the free to play one of course you'll have to you know look at all the equips available to god key i haven't gone through and done that myself yet see what it works best but i'm assuming because they put these requirements in that picture that their idea is that you run this on the new vegeta this one here frieza gold equipment you can see we got blaze blast attack then we have some base strike attack and then damage to powerful opponent after 30 timer counts so after 30 timer counts we'll be doing more to powerful opponent which of course the loe team almost all those freezes i think all of them are powerful opponent tags then jiren you see in the meta too right now works against jiren and you know other powerful opponents you may see out on the battlefield this is just god king general so you can run this on any god key unit in the game and then our last equip here is it's over now and i've won this gives health restoration then you have base blast defense or base strike defense it's you know one of those either or it's not both and then you have base health at the bottom this is for god key defense type and i would assume because it has super saiyan blue goku the idea is or their idea at the very least is you run this on the new free to play super saiyan blue goku since he is a defense type unit and it buffs defense health restoration and health which defense units having more defense and health good thing because it means they stay alive for longer so yep those are our new things you know there's the potential for zenkai golden frieza a potential for zenkai yellow super saiyan blue kaioken transforming goku let me know your thoughts let me know what you're feeling down in the comments again if you've been running the goku and vegeta i'd love to hear your thoughts on those in the comments but i hope you are staying happy and healthy having the best of days out there and i'll catch y'all tomorrow <laughs>